like to welcome you to today's teaching class. My name is Apostle Ambassador David Longe, the lead pastor of Jesus Global Ecclesia Worldwide. Today we're going to have to consider something very significant and very dear to the heart of the Father, a message specifically given to me by the Lord for you today. All right, I woke up this morning and um, waiting before the Lord and the word of the Lord came unto me that the Lord God Almighty has decided to show great mercy upon the house of Jesus Global Ecclesia and every sons and daughters, partners, uh, well-wishers to this commission a uh, partaker of the anointing for divine help. I saw into the heart of God strongly that the Lord wants to help us. We all need the help of God. And I'm just going to introduce the mind of God to us and the Lord will take it up from there, manifesting glorious divine help in your life. And your testimonies shall confirm this word of the Lord. But I need to say from the onset that the Bible says the word that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. We need to understand when specific word is given by God, that is the reigning and ruling anointing for that hour. And you must not miss it. When you miss it, you are going to create a gap of the miraculous and the hand of God in your life. This understanding, every child of God should have it when you are a true pastor, true minister of God over your life. When God sends words per time, you must pay serious attention to those words and receive all the power that comes with those words. Like today, God has given us a word that He wants to help us. So there is an anointing for divine help that comes with this word. There are angels of help that has been released to execute that which God has spoken because they hearken only to His commandments. So you must be open-hearted everywhere you look at expect to see the hand and the help of God come to you in the name of Jesus Christ. So we'll take our text scripture from John chapter 5 from verse 1 to 9. The story is told there of a man that has been by the pool of Bethesda for 38 years. Jesus met him in his predicament and seemed to say humanly impossible situation and by the mercies of God, by the divine help of God, his situation was turned around. I see God in an excitement in my spirit is helping you today in the name of Jesus. Things that have been difficult, hard, seemingly impossible shall begin to be made possible because God is delighted to help you. He told me he's releasing the anointing for divine help into our lives. I am a partaker as you are a partaker and I'm so sure what I'm talking about and you shouldn't miss it. And I believe strongly even before the end of these teachings you begin to experience the help of God in every dimension, in any area of your life you have needed and waited for the helps to come your way. John 5 from verse 1, after this there was a feast at the, of the Jews and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is at the Jerusalem by the sheep market, a pool, which is called Bethesda, which is called in Hebrew tongue Bethesda, having five porches. In these lay a great multitude of impotent folk, of blind, of hold, the withered, waiting for the moving of the water. For an angel went down at a certain season into the pool and troubled the water. Whosoever then first after the troubling of the water steps in was made whole of whatsoever disease he had. And a certain man was there which had an infirmity 38 years when Jesus saw him lie. And he knew that he had been now a long time in that case. He said unto him, Will thou be made whole? And Today, this is an extension of request by the Lord to you also. God knows that you have been in the situation you have been. And he sent me to ask you, do you need my help? You've been trying to get that contract. Do you need the help of God? You've been trying to get pregnant. You've been trying to be promoted. You've been trying to be married. Do you need the help of God? 
You've been trying to start that ministry. Do you need the help of God? You've been trying so many things and they are not working out. You have been denied. Do you need the help of God? That is the message that God sent me to you today. Do you need the help of the Father, the help of the Almighty, the helper of the helpless? If your answer is yes, then your help is here right now in the name of Jesus Christ. You see, in this situation, there are many important, many people with different issues, different circumstances. But the Lord picked on him. God has picked on you today. He saw your tears. He saw your pains. Do you need the help of God? It's available now. Even if I don't say anything more after now, but you, you believe that I am truly sent by God with this word, before you hear the next statement, the answer you have been looking for is already delivered to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Because the help of God has come to you. Will thou be made whole? The impotent man answered him, Sir, I have no man. When the water is troubled, God knows that you have nobody to help you. You are at your wit's end. You have no man when the, when the water is troubled. You have no man when the, application, when, the, when the advertisement was made. You have no connection of human capacity. For here is the Lord of Lords. Here is the King of Kings coming to you under the umbrella of Jesus Global Ecclesia today to say, I am the Lord that heals you. I am the resurrection and life. I am the blesser. I am the savior. Whatever you've been trying to do, I am the lifter up of heads. He is here to help you. I can feel the power of God to help. God is so excited to help. So receive the help of God. I have no man when the water is troubled to put me into the pool. But while I am coming, another stepped down before me. Jesus said unto him, Rise up, take up your bed, and walk. And immediately the man was made whole, and took up his bed and walked. And on the same day was the Sabbath day. You've been applying. They've been giving other people the, the job. You've been seeking. You've not been finding. The Almighty who controls all things has decided to help you today. You can see my big smile because I know there is help for you now in God. I know now you will testify. Now I see you in the midst of the congregation of the righteous, testifying to the goodness of God. Now I see you testing me. I receive a call from you. I receive your text message on our testimony page. I am reading your testimony that God has helped you. You've been trying to be healed from that infirmity, that diseases, that, that, that sickness. The Lord is curing you now in the name of Jesus. I see in the realm of the spirit promotion. The Bible says promotion comes not from the west, not from the east, but God is the judge. God has decided to judge to your favor today. Receive the help of God with promotion. You are promoted by the help of God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God will help you find the right man to marry you, the man that will love you as Christ loves the church. God is going to help you to find that right accommodation, that right blessing that you are looking for. It's all available. I can see the angels of God being dispatched to everyone that believes as you listen in the name of Jesus Christ. The help of God is available for you today. Glory to God. <laughs> so Jesus Christ said unto the man, Rise, I am saying unto you, Rise. Receive that which you have been trying to get without success. It's now yours. Receive that admission. Receive that scholarship. The help of God is available right now. Receive that lifting in the name of Jesus. Receive that open door. That spiritual gift is released right now. Everything. And the Lord said to me, I have decided to show mercy upon you. There are several keys and principles that you may have to apply to constantly receive the help of God. But today, it is coming as a gift of God by mercy. Mercy has located you because you believe in the God of David Longhead, because you believe in the God of the 
Jesus Global Ecclesia. Therefore, God has decided out of his infinite mercy to give you help. Receive that help. You will be helped. You have been helped. People who don't help others are now helping you. He's going to speak on your behalf. The help of God that you've been waiting for has finally alighted on you in the name of Jesus Christ. In Psalm 41 verse 6, God is our refuge and strength, the very present help in trouble. The same way Jesus was at the right place to help that man at the pool of Bethesda to receive what he has, he has waited for for 38 years. It's the same way you must see Jesus Christ by your bedside right now, healing you and saying to you, rise up and be healed in the name of Jesus. You can see Jesus is helping to turn the situation of your family around. Begin to hear the word of Jesus directly as I speak to you. Help has come to your family in the name of Jesus Christ. The very present help in the time of trouble is around and alive and with you right now. Psalm 60 verse 11 says, Give us air from the troubles, for vain is the help of man. You can testify that man's help is vain, but God's help is sure as he has committed himself to help you. Man has promised you efforts of man has not delivered what you desire, but the help of God has finally come your way today in the name of Jesus. Psalm 146 verse 5, happy is the man that God, that had the God of Jacob for help. So be happy because the God of Jacob, the God of David Longer, the God of Isaac, the God of Abraham is decided to help you. Happy is he that has the God of Jacob for his help, whose hope is in the Lord is God. Now you need to shift your focus from everywhere you have been seeking for help and focus and believe in the available help of God for you today in the name of Jesus. When you look at 1 Chronicles chapter 12, verse 22, for at that time, day by day, this is talking about King David, when he became anointed as king over Israel, after being a fugitive by virtue of Saul hunting his life in the wilderness for several years. All right, in the desert for several years. Now, this is what God began to do to David. God raised help for him. God is going to raise financial help for somebody. God is going to raise all kinds of help for you because he has committed himself. And the strength of Israel shall never lie. For at that time, day by day, come on, in the name of Jesus, there came to David to help him. Ha <laughs> Here is the interpretation. Tell my children, my heart blesses them because they are under the right umbrella for me to help them. I have covenant with David to help him. And therefore that help has been extended to you. He is my chosen one, my anointed one. And therefore receive my help as he ministers my help to you. It is of my own desire that I have chosen to help you as a sign of my commitment to this ministry and commission. And I will not let his word over you fall to the ground, says the Spirit of the living God. Now that's an interception of the Holy Ghost to let you know again and again the joy of the Father to help you. The same way David was day by day being helped, the Lord said, I shall say to you, every day of your life, you will receive the help of God, beginning from this hour. There came to David to help him. What did they help him to do? Until he was a great host like the host of God. That which God wants you to do with your life is the faithful is he that calls you, who also will do it. Receive the help of God. You will only be able to achieve anything that God wants you to do only by his help and the help of God is the grace of God you begin to see people ministering to you people standing for you 
because God has chosen to help you. And it is written, in the day of his power, his people shall be willing, and his people can be anybody, including the devil himself. He shall be willing to help you. When God arises to help a man, everyone will rise and help him. And God has arisen to help you today. Therefore, I am glad. I am glad for you because your, your sorrows are ended. Your pains and anguish are over. The help of God has come your way. In the name of Jesus Christ, as David was helped, you shall be helped. Everything you wish to achieve in life is very easy for God. Is there anything too hard for God to do? Is anything too difficult for God to do? In Genesis 18 verse 14, God speaking to Abraham, Is anything too hard for the Lord at the time appointed? Speaking also to Sarah, our mother of faith, uh, At the time appointed, I will return unto you according to the time of life, and Sarah shall have a son. Glory to God. And so it was because the Lord helped Abraham's faith. The Lord will help you. You will achieve greatness. You will fulfill purpose. You will fulfill destiny. Take advantage of this help that is available for you right now. Also in Jeremiah 32 verse 17, the Bible says, Our Lord God, behold, thou hast made the heaven and the head by thy great power, and stretch out arm. Is there anything too hard for you to do? Is there anything too hard? That situation of yours is nothing for God when God himself has decided to help you. And here is the help of God for you. Be blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your heart wide and receive the help of God. Believe his prophet and you shall prosper. Believe me today because God sent me to you that help is available for you in God. God himself has a reason for your sake. He has a reason to your situation. He wants to take glory over your life. I taught you before that God is ever ready to do the miraculous because he's always looking for the glory. He wants to take the glory. God will take glory over your enemy. God is taking glory over your situation. As you open up your heart to him and say, Father, I receive your word. I believe your prophet. I receive the divine help. I receive the anointing for divine help. And today, the anointing is coming upon your life. And from today, help we always shall, shall be available for you in the name of Jesus. Psalm 121 from verse 1. I will lift up my eyes unto the hills. From whence comes my help? My helps come from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. I love his song. All of my helps come from the Lord. He will not suffer your foot to be moved. He that keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he that keeps Israel neither slumber nor sleeps. When the help of God comes your way, everything will align themselves. No good will pass you anymore. It's going to be blessing and joy galore in this year of the fullness of joy. Help of God is needed for you to step into the fullness of joy. Help of God is needed for you to step into the fullness of joy. And God himself is committing himself to bring to pass his word in your life. Hallelujah. The Lord is, the, is your keeper. The Lord is the shade upon your right hand. And he went further. When the help of God arises, sun shall not smite you by day nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. He shall preserve your soul. The Lord shall preserve your going out and your coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. So look to God, my brothers and sisters. Look to God, your very present help in the time of need. We all need the help of God in so many ways. I need the help of God. You know, that's why I'm excited because God has given me his word, his rhema. I can hold on to that word. And I know angels are all around. Ministry helps in every way I need them. I need more and more of his financial help, more and more of his grace to 
fulfill my purpose and destiny. More and more help for my children to fulfill their purpose. More and more help of God for you. And that help has come. I give praise to God for remembering you and I to send us help out of Zion in the name of Jesus. So whichever way you need the help of God today, now he has told me he will help you. Isaiah 41 verse 10, I will help you and will hold you by my right hand of righteousness. Isaiah 41 verse 13, God will hold you by right hand saying to thee, fear not, I will help you. Isaiah 41 verse 10, fear not, I will help you. All those things that has been making you afraid till now, fear not, he will help you. Psalm 124, bless the Lord. Oh, who bless be the Lord who have not given us as a prey to their teeth. Verse 6, our soul is escaped because of the help of God. You are escaping all kinds of afflictions of the devil, all kinds of oppression of the devil today and right now. Your soul has escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowl. And the snare is broken by God. We have all escaped. We have escaped shame. We have escaped dejection. We have escaped homelessness. Whichever area of life that you need the help of God, that the enemy has pinned you down, now I come to announce to you, you have escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the name that is above all name given unto us among them, by which every man shall be saved. Receive the help of God in the name of Jesus, of which it is written, that at the mention of that name, Every new shall bow, every helplessness shall give up in the name of Jesus and God takes the glory. Father, we bless your name. Everything you've been trying to do to, uh, to achieve shall manifest now by the help of God. Psalm 3 from verse 1 to 3 says, Lord, how are they increased that troubles me? Many are they that rise up against me. Many there be which says of my soul, there is no help for him in God. They've been laughing. They could be your neighbors, your enemies, your colleagues, family member even your own spouse or children but today i come to announce to you verse 3 but thou o lord that a shield for me my glory and the lifter up of my head there is a word for somebody here here is your promotion the lord said i am lifting up your head You're, you will no longer bury your head in the sand because god has taken you out of the mary clay psalm 42 verse to say he brought me up also out of the horrible pit out of the merry clay and set my feet upon the rock and established my going this is the prophecy for you god says he is taking you out of the merry clay out of that shame out of that lowliness of life and setting your feet upon the rock and he had put a new song in my mouth even unto our God, praise unto our God, many shall see it and fear and shall trust in the Lord. The last broadcast I did to you indicated these prophecies also that now God will make your enemy to praise him. It's coming back to you again. God says he will make your enemy to, to say great is your God. That God has done great things for you because he has decided to help you in the name of that is above all name. You are receiving the help of God. Hallelujah to Jesus. Another word God told me is that he will fight for you and you will hold your peace because he's going to help you. The same way he helped the children of Israel to destroy Pharaoh and his army, he will help you. The Jehovah man of war has taken over your battle because the battle is the Lord. Hallelujah to Jesus. If you look at 2 Chronicles chapter 20, uh, 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 and when you read from verse 1, it, it came to pass after this also that children of Moab and children of Ammon and with them other side, others beside the Ammonite came against Jehoshaphat to battle, king of Judah. Praise God. Then there came same, some that told Jehoshaphat, saying, There cometh a great multitude against you from beyond the sea on this side, Syria, and behold, they be in Ezazon Tamar and which is in Gedi, and Jehoshaphat feared. But remember, God has already spoken to you, fear not. Fear not, Jehoshaphat. Fear not because there is help for you in God today. I'm so excited and my heart is glad, my spirit is rejoicing 
for your sake and for my sake because the help of God is available. That financial help has come. That marital help has come. That spiritual battle is over because the Father of mercy and the God of all comfort has arisen to our help. Blessed be his name. Let's enjoy this story as I begin to draw the curtain. In the name of Jesus Christ. And Jehoshaphat feared and set himself to seek the Lord and proclaim a fast throughout all Judah. And Judah gathered themselves together to ask help of the Lord. The help of God that is available today. You want to say like Jehoshaphat, Oh God, help me, I receive your help. Thank you for sending your help. But help me, Lord, I receive your help. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Look at what the children of Israel did by a great leader. To, to ask help of the Lord, even out of all the cities of Judah. They came to seek the Lord. God is showing me a family, an entire family that needs to come together after this message and look to heaven and say, Lord, we receive your help. Help us out of this situation. And I see an angel of the Lord orchestrating that you are constantly having supply after this prayer. Help has come, but you have to receive it because the Lord will not just force his help on you. You must receive it. You must receive the help of God in the name of Jesus. There's another young man I was shown right now with a folder in his, in his armpit. It indicates his seeking job. Receive the help of God. It has come in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to God. Verse 5, And Jehoshaphat stood in the congregation of Judah and Jerusalem in the house of the Lord before the new court and said, O Lord God of our fathers, had not thou God in heaven and rulest not thou over all the kingdoms of the heavens and in thy hand is there not power and might. So that none is able to withstand you. Are you not our God who did drive out the inhabitants of this land before your people Israel and gave it to the seed of Abraham, your friends forever? And they dwell therein and have built them you sanctuary therein for your name, saying, If when he will comment upon us as the sword judgment of, of pestilence, they were referring to the covenant he made with, with the temple of Solomon. Of family we stand before this house and in thy presence for thy name in this house and cry unto thee in our affliction then you will hear and help hallelujah god is committed to helping us hallelujah he has covenanted with me that he will help us he is helping me he will help you hallelujah the god of my help is our is our life forever the god of my help is ready to help you you children of god help is awaiting you receive that help in jesus mighty name and now lord behold the children of ammon and moab and mount Seir, whom thou wouldest not let israel invade when they came out of the land of egypt but they turned from them and destroyed them not behold i say how they reward us you need invariably jehoshaphat is showing you one of the key principles of receiving the help of god i've told you today we're not going to download to you all of those principles because god said to me he has come out of his own personal discretion as a father that he, he loves us he's happy at what is happening with us in our lives and ministry and he has decided to show signs and wonders of help and to every sons and daughters every partners every well wishers and every friend of jesus global ecclesia ministry there is divine help for you as a reward from god in the name of jesus christ oh our god but will thou not judge them for we have no might against this great company that cometh against us. Neither know we what to do, but our eyes are on thee. Are you going to lift your eyes to God today and say, Lord, my eyes are on you for help? And all Judah stood before the Lord with their little ones, their wives, and their children. I saw a picture again. God showed me a, a, a picture of a family that needs to do this. You need to stand together as a family and lift up your voice to God and ask for his help that is available and receive that help. Oh, glory to God. Verse 14. Then upon Jaziah, the son of Zechariah, the son of Benahiah, the son of Jehu, the son of Matahana, Mataniah, a Lephite of the sons of Asaph, came the Spirit of the Lord in the midst of the congregation. And he said, I can ye all Judah, and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem, and thou, King Jehoshaphat, thus says the Lord unto you, like I'm prophesying to you, be not afraid nor dismayed by the reason of this great multitude of the battle. For the battle is not yours anymore, but 
God. I feel like jumping out. I feel like drawing the curtain here because the message is passed. Sons and daughters of God, God told me to tell you the battles you've been fighting without success, it's over because he's taking over the battle. Right now, you will see the glory of God as you believe in the name of Jesus. You've been battling with health. You've been battling with damaged organ. Stretch forth your hands right now. Receive divine healing by the hands of God in Jesus' name. Amen. Glory to God. Whatever it is that you've been battling with, as you stretch forth your hands, help is reaching you by God in Jesus' mighty name. So the prophet of God says the battle is the Lord. Tomorrow go ye down against them. Behold, they come up by the cliffs of seas, and ye shall find them at the end of the brook. Before the wilderness of Jeruel, ye shall not need to fight in this battle. Your fight is over. Hallelujah to Jesus. Set yourself, stand ye still, and see the salvation of the Lord with you. This week, this month, the remaining days of your life, you will continue to testify. Even this day, this hour, this moment, healing is taking place. God has taken over your battle. Miracles are taking place. Those who God has anointed to help you are now seeking you. They will find you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, Judah and Jerusalem, fear not, nor be dismayed. Jesus Global Ecclesia, fear not or, be, or not be displayed. Tomorrow go out against them, for the Lord will be with you. And Jehoshaphat bowed his head with his face to the ground, and all Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem fell before the Lord, worshipping the Lord. And verse 19, and the Levite of the children of the Kohathites and of the children of the Kohathites stood up to praise the name of the Lord. God of Israel with a loud voice on high. This is supposed to be your job after this message. Give him praise. Give him thanksgiving because he has spoken. As, as you do that, God will thunder on your case. Glory to God. God will manifest his power. I can feel his surge in the realm of the spirit. I see him seated on the throne, passing the judgment on your case. That my sons and daughters, oh glory to God, I am sending help their way. In the name of Jesus Christ, glory to God. I hear the Lord say and whisper to me to say to you now, you've been giving and you are saying, when shall I begin to have harvest? He says, I need to tell you, your harvest has come right now. In the name of Jesus, the Lord has remembered your offering and sent you help out of Zion. In the name of Jesus, I love verse 20 all my life, much more. And they arose early in the morning and went forth into the wilderness of Tekoa. And as they went forth, King Jehoshaphat stood like I'm, st like I'm standing in the spirit and speaking to you the word of the Lord and said, Hear me, O Judah, hear me, O sons and daughters of God, ye inhabitants of Jerusalem, hear me, Jesus Global Ecclesia Worldwide. Believe in the Lord your God, so shall ye be established. Believe this prophet, so shall you prosper. As you believe in this prophetic message, the help of God is also released unto you. As you rise in worship and praise, the help of God will be released unto you. And when he has consulted with the people, he appointed singers unto the Lord and that should praise the beauty of his holiness as they went out before the army and to, to say praise the Lord for his mercies endures forever and when they began to sing and to praise this is where I'm going to begin to draw the curtain this is what God told me you need to do now begin to sing and to praise you want to activate the help of God that's already available for you oh glory to God he says praise me he also offered praise glorifies me Give God some kind of big head. Worship him. Let him know you acknowledge that he is and is able to do exceeding abundantly far above what you can ever ask or imagine. The help of God is available. Who is that man? Who is that woman? Who is that child of God that wants the help of God? The anointing for help. The anointing for divine help. Provoke with powerful worship. 
powerful praise. He has decided to bless you with his help. But reward him, minister to him, and you will see him turn out. You will see him do mighty things in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to God. Verse 22. And when they began to sing and to praise, then the Lord set ambushment against the children of Ammon. Things are going to begin to shift to your favor. As you worship in gratitude and faith, I believe somebody is hearing what the Lord is saying. And Mount Seir, which were come against Judah, and they were all smitten. God is smiting all opposing situations to his glory in your life because he's taking glory over your enemy. For the children of Ammon and Moab stood up against the inhabitants of Mount Seir. The, the enemy began to fight themselves. That is what God is doing right now. Everyone that has ever stood against you, they will begin to fight themselves. And you will go up and higher, better and better in the name of Jesus, because the anointing is working to your favor. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus Christ. And I hear God said in a particular cabinet, I see a sitting or, or in a boardroom, and God, I saw God behind the, 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 the chairperson of that decision. And I hear God say to him, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. And I could feel the frequency of the waves going into all the decision maker. And the Lord just gave me the name of the person upon whom they are making decision. And the Lord said to me, I shall announce to you that you are the chosen one, that you have been made the director of your organization by the decree of heaven. And the Lord has arrested the heart of everyone. I see like a magnetic waves in that connect all of them together in a frequency, like a frequency of a zigzag wave in the hearts of all of them. And God bind all their hearts and they all make a choice of you because you are the anointed one for that organization. And the Lord God has spoken, nobody can prophesy. So I say congratulations. We will hear your testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. Utterly to slay and destroy them. And when they have made an end of the inhabitants of Seir, hear what is happening here. For the children of Ammon and Moab stood against the inhabitants of Seir. The two entities stood against another entity. These are the enemies that came to fight the children of Judah, of Israel. All right, and so God set ambushment against them. He made, after they have made an end of destroying the, the, the inhabitants of Seir, everyone have to destroy one another. Nobody can stop you anymore. You are unstoppable because the help of God has come to you. And his song is given to me right now for somebody who needs to understand the ways of God. He says, God, we make our way where there seems to be no ways. He walks in ways we cannot see. He will make a way for you. He will be your God, holding closely to his side. With joy and strength for his new day. He will make a way. He will make a way. The God has made way in the wilderness for each day of your life. He will always make way for you. Somebody is saying, I don't know how God is going to do it. You don't need it. It's not your job to know. It is your job to believe. It is his job to do. Stop stop listening to the devil. It's not your job to know how he's going to do it. It's not you to do it. It is him that does. So believe what he has sent to you. And he will perform it. Because blessed is he that believe. For there shall be a performance. If you want God to perform be like Mary, the mother of the Lord Jesus Christ, and say, I believe. Oh, I believe in Jesus. Hey, I believe he's the Son of God. Oh, I believe he died and rose again. Oh, I believe in Jesus. If you believe God, you believe his prophet, help is already yours. Let's finish this. Hallelujah. I'm excited. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. And when Judah came towards the watch, towards the in the wilderness, they looked unto the multitude, and behold, they were dead bodies falling to the earth, and none escaped. Nobody will escape 
among those who are seeking your downfall, among those who are seeking your failure, among those who are seeking your death, among those who are seeking your continual affliction, they shall not escape. In the name of Jesus Christ, God will waste anyone that will not respect him in your life. In the name of Jesus, glory to Jesus. And when Jehoshaphat and his people came to take away the spoil, you are taking the spoil because God is helping you. Of them that found among them in, in the in abundance of both riches with the dead bodies and precious jewels which they stripped up for themselves, more than they could carry away. And they were three days in gathering of the spoil. It was so much. And on the fourth day, they assembled themselves in the valley of Baraka. For there they blessed the Lord. Therefore the name of the same place was called the Valley of Beraka. Unto this day, you will bless the Lord for this day for the rest of your life. You can read the rest and you will see how the children of Israel mount up praises and worship to God. What must you do, sons and daughters of God? It's time to celebrate. It's time to give thanks to your Father who has chosen to have mercy upon you to help you. And release the anointing for help in your life. Receive it in the name of Jesus. In the book of Zechariah chapter 4 from verse 5 to 7. Don't worry yourself how it's going to be done. Don't worry yourself how it's going to be effected. It is not by might. It is not by power. Oh, but by my spirit, says the Lord. I'm stepping aside for the Lord to move on your behalf right now. And before that, I want to hand you over to the angel of help. Rando Sokediha. Start Kramanu Zedi Brana Oh, you entourage emissaries of heaven. It's time for you to begin to execute beyond measure. Non-stop in the life of these ones who believe the word of God. Lord Almighty, perform in their life. Release the anointing for divine help unto them. Every area of their life. Let the help of God prevail in the name of Jesus. Receive the help of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, thank you in Jesus' name. We will hear your testimony because the Lord has done it for you. And it means your servant and your pastor, Apostle Ambassador David Longer, the lead pastor of Jesus Global Ecclesia. I'd like you to do me a favor, share this video with everyone in your network all over social media let them know that you serve a living god and if you want to join any of our groups any of our networks the prayer networks you want to be a partner to our ministry or you want to give as you are moved by the lord i like you to check the description but uh Button, click on the description button. It opens the description box to you if you are watching from YouTube. And from there, you will be able to see links that will lead you to where you are going. And then if you want prayers, if you want counselings, you can just join any of our network, or particularly the WhatsApp groups that are available on the links. It will take you to the right place in Jesus' name. And I'm also extending invitation to some of you who want to be gospel financier. Also in the description uh, box, you will find a link to Gospel Financiers uh, uh, group and network. You click and join because there I am teaching and empowering God's children to become billionaire, trillionaire, or whatever near the God is ready to make them for the purpose of the gospel. And there is no way God will make you a, a, a money magnet and you will not benefit. So if you are the, the passion to give towards the work of God, join Gospel Financiers Network and the Lord is going to enrich you mightily in Jesus name. We have another group for women, uh, the Global Women Network where God has, has instructed us to be able to empower women to find relevance and to preserve destiny. So every woman you need to click on the description box as well and then follow the links to join the women's network. God bless you. All other networks are there. I'll see you next time on sunday don't miss our broadcast in jesus mighty name our global impartation and anointing service it's going to be glorious i am raised by god to subdue the devil in your life and to make sure god's purpose come to pass in your life you will fulfill purpose and you will fulfill destiny join me in this crusade against the enemies of righteousness your life will be the testimony of god's goodness i love you stay blessed shalom is in the name
Lord and King, mighty 